Alright, hey guys, and welcome back. I know I've been out of action for quite a while, but I'm back with another toy review this week, as I'm going to be taking a look at Raggedy Ann and Andy, or more specifically, the adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy. Now, for those of you who are wondering what or who exactly a Raggedy Ann and Andy is in the first place, the Raggedy Ann and Andy series is a series of books that was originally started in 1915 by American author Johnny Gruel. Now, he originally got the idea from the series as a little boy when he went up into his mother's attic and found an old rag doll. The name stuck because he thought it was a combination of some John Whitcomb poems, The Raggedy Man, and Little Orphan Annie, and therefore decided to give the doll the name of Raggedy Ann. Years later, they gained popularity again as the animated series The Adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy came back into production. The series is about Marcella, who is the author's daughter, and her set of rag dolls that come to life whenever she goes to sleep or leaves the room. The cast of characters, of course, you have Raggedy Ann, Raggedy Andy, which is Raggedy Ann's brother, Raggedy Dog, Grouchy Bear, Sunny Bunny, Raggedy Cat, and the Camel with the Wrinkled Knees. Now, whenever Marcella would go to sleep, these dolls would escape through another dimension, and they would have all kinds of adventures, and usually try to save the inhabitants of the other world from the evil villain, Cracklin, and his minion. Alright, so here I have the cast of characters from the adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy, and here you can see the main characters, Raggedy Ann and Andy. High five! Let's take a look at Raggedy Ann first. Now, these are all little PVC figurines. And you can see um, they have these really strange eyes with like the sonar and shoe button. Kind of creepy. I'll get to those more in a moment. And you can see that she has on her plain blue smock and white apron with the yarn um, for red hair, which also looks kind of weird. And the face kind of reminds me a little bit of a scarecrow. This is her brother, um, Raggedy Andy, and you can see he also has the same kind of creepy eyes, and has the uh, overalls and dungarees with the blue cap and the white buttons on the back, and he also has the blue bow on the front, and his big shoes with buckles and plaid shirt. Alright, and now let's take a look at Raggedy Dog, which I actually thought this guy had another name from the cartoon show, but apparently not. Um, he looks a lot different from the picture that you see, but he's really cute here. Now it's a ball on his nose. And he's really a uh, very adorable character out of the series, and I really like what they did with him in the uh, PVC form. You can see the creativity with the yarn and the stitching, holding him together, and the patchwork with the tail and the really interesting ears where there's pieces of yarn that are sewn back into the head. So he's really cute. Definitely, uh, you know, a really cool favorite character to the series. And this is, of course, I think everybody's favorite, uh, the camel with the wrinkled knees, which I also remember having a different name than that, but I guess not. Um, you can really see the eyes and he has kind of like a Eeyore type of face has the patchwork on the uh, back there with his legs sewn in and it's really colorful and a very original character and it looks very goofy with his one paw on the neck like there, like that with his eyes and he just kind of looks dopey. Like, oh, I didn't know that I fucked up. You know, and he's just a really goofy looking character so he's really cool and he's definitely, uh, you know, my favorite out of the uh, series. And here I got some other characters here, or uh, different ones in different poses. We got Raggedy Andy, and he's throwing um, a frisbee, or a really big gold coin. <laughs> um, but, you know, really cool looking there. Very nice representation again. And then we got Raggedy Andy here, uh, smelling flower, as the whole trio were all about like peace and happiness and stuff, so you know, spreading good vibes. 
And that is the set of toys that I have here, so I hope you guys enjoy taking a look at them, and hopefully this review wasn't too raggedy, and I'll see you back here next week. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingAirRetro. See you next time.